Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us tmosso at the 1916company.com for purchase, pricing, and availability details of this watch. In 2021, Zenith brought back the DeFi Extreme Sports Watch line. And for 2023, it launched this, the DeFi Extreme Carbon, a watch that is composed of carbon fiber, sapphire, and titanium. It's lightness belies its 45 millimeter diameter. So let's get the specs and then dive into the tech. Size is 45 in diameter, 15.5 thick, and then from lug tip to lug tip, it's actually a fairly short 51 millimeters. That's not too big for a watch of this diameter. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and I'll be darned, it fits. I would recommend this watch for a wrist my size or larger, so 16 centimeters circumference or larger. Here's over the top, Here's down the barrel, and then the cuff shot. Jackets, not the tightest of dress sleeves, but jackets will clear that. Now this watch can be put on several different bands. So if you don't like the Velcro equipped strap, well, you can very easily change that. There's a push button on the bottom that allows you to dismount. And just like that, a strap comes off the case. And they have other options, you got rubber, leather, whatever you want. They've got several different options and it snaps right back in. So we have here a combination of carbon fiber and then textile with a rubber lining on the base, which is very supple and comfortable. The nice thing about Velcro is that within the range, you get unlimited adjustability. There is no minimum increment of adjustment, so you can really fine-tune the fit. It also feels like a natural for a watch that's 200 meters water resistant, as I think it's better to be able to jump in and avail yourself of that water resistance than to have to switch off of a leather strap. We do have a screw-down crown. The screw-down crown here does feature a carbon fiber shoulder. Chronograph triggers are also carbon fiber. The outer case, as you can see, as well as bezel, carbon fiber. Case back made of carbon fiber. Fiber. It is a very light watch. Carbon, titanium, and sapphire for the crystals front and back. Not a very dense material in any of these cases. So this watch feels almost like a 40 millimeter steel watch. We do have a spectacular foudrillant, but let's work from the outside in. The fastening here might seem like something handed down from Hublot or up from Tag Heuer, but the fact is since 1969 with the first DeFi's, this multifaceted case design has been an element of DeFi design. So going back to 1969, this case shape is Zenith's. It has nothing to do with Tag. It has nothing to do with Hublot. We also have here screw fixed shoulders for the chronograph pushers, so if they get gouged, they can be removed. We have Zenith's star logo on the crown in both polish and media blast, a nice piece of attention to detail. You can see there's even a little bit of micro faceting around the outer bezel plinth. On the dial, we got a lot of things going on. First things first, the Foudrillon system. This is designed to help you read one one hundredth of a second. The watch actually has two escapements. You could see both of them right here. This is the high frequency escapement, 360,000 vibrations per hour, 50 hertz. Then right here, 36,000 vibrations per hour, 5 hertz. This is the traditional 10 beat per second El Primero. This is 100. You can also see that the El Primero, the, the time telling escapement, uses unlubricated silicon for reduced inertia in the system, reduced friction, and reduced need for lubrication right down to nothing. So you also have a little bit of anti-magnetic qualities there, and I don't know how well you can see that, but the spokes of the escape wheel are the Zenith Star. So we've got two different escapements, and they're powered separately. One manually wound powers the Foudrillon chronograph, and that has a 50 minute power reserve. Because it's so short, there's a power reserve indicator up at the top of the dial for that 50 minute manually wound power reserve. Now the time telling functions are automatically wound and they have a 50 hour power reserve. Oddly, because they have separate escapements, drivetrains, and barrels, the two parts of this movement, caliber 9004, can operate entirely independent. So you can see how the running seconds display is turning now. While I pull the crown out, I activate hacking seconds. The time telling movement is stopped, but the chronograph is still operating. The chronograph also can run entirely out of power, or I can just stop it, and the time telling functions will continue to operate. So this is really like a watch with two completely independent movements inside it. 
We also have a fair amount of loom, which I'm gonna show you right now. And then underneath the primary sapphire, you can see there's a secondary sapphire that has a smoked shading to it, and it has a clover-like cutout surrounding the chronograph registers, each of which has its own darkly shaded sapphire at center. We have a lot of little colors here, these colors inspired by the connection between Zenith and the Extreme E Electric Rally Racing Series. This watch features some inspiration from Extreme E, though there was a dedicated series of DeFi Extremes dedicated to that series. This is more like an inspiration from that series. This is not explicitly branded. This is the DeFi Extreme Carbon, not one of the Extreme E's. On the reverse side, you can see that this movement is large and the 53 Joule automatic winding and manually wound caliber, it's both of course, it features a time-lab certification. You can see this is the same movement from the DeFi El Primero 21. The time-lab chronometer certification is done under the auspices of the Bureau Officiel, authorized by the city and canton of Geneva. So it meets all of the ISO 3159 standards to which a COSC chronometer is subject, and then time lab even goes a little bit beyond that in ways that are more exacting. This watch has a lot to offer. And of course, we haven't even talked about this foudreon. The idea here being that if you have a 100 beat per second chronograph escapement, you can resolve one one hundredth of a chronograph second. So just like El, just like F.P. Journe's Santigraf Souverain here, I can read tenths and even hundredths of seconds. So right now I have seen the elapse of 13 hundredths of a second right there. That's how you read that. So each second broken up 100 ways, just like the Jorn Santigraf, but for tens of thousands less. And it has a unique sound against the ear. Not only does it have two heartbeats, but the Foudreon escapement sounds almost like a hummingbird. It's very distinctive. It's a unique sensory experience, a treat for the eyes and ears. If you love this watch, reach out to Team Also at the1916company.com for purchase and pricing details.